What is up, Masters? Jason here. So we were seeing the price of Cardano trending up during the Cardano Summit, but we've been seeing more pullback that has happened as we still have Bitcoin price below $42,000 at the time that I'm making this video. But there were some catalysts that were interesting. Now, I've talked about things like the, the Cardano App Store, the DAP Store, I should say, as well as other things that Cardano has in the works, but some things that were very interesting was that Cardano uh, NFT gaming, that they have partnership with Rival, as well as their partnership with Chainlink, and also the very interesting thing of them having a stable coin that they're going to be partnering with Kadi with called Jed. So I just wanted to talk about all that in this video. So as we do get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or just gently press that like button. Helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it helps spread these videos to more people that might find it interesting. Subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to it. So it seems like every time we get somewhere in crypto, we then end up getting some FUD thrown at us from China or something else that ends up affecting the entire crypto market. When Bitcoin falls, pretty much everybody else does as well. So we have Cardano currently priced at $2.05, but there's so many catalysts for Cardano to be looking forward to in the future. And that's what we really need to be getting to. So looking at the price of Cardano, we're currently sitting at a support of $2 and a resistance of $2.15. So we need to find support above $2.15. And then hopefully we can start going back on that journey like we were. Uh, we were recently over the, uh, over the Cardano Summit, going above our, our next phase of resistance at 235, where we really, really need to be at the moment to be priced in where we were when the Alonso update was priced in. But that's our main struggle right now. Our main struggle is uh, getting above the 215, finding support, and then working our way back up to 235, and then finding support above 235. That's the main, that's the main area where we need to be, 235 to a resistance of 255. So one of the things we just recently learned about is Car Cardano's NFT gaming. Now, they just recently partnered with Rival, and as a result, this partnership, Cardano will facilitate the sales of NFTs, the ability to create and distribute NFTs, the redemption of NFTs for physical goods and marketplace-based royalties within the Rival platform for its clients' gaming communities, including brands, media properties, sports teams, and leagues. Rivals press release says that the collaboration will further empower brands and organizations to build community through the popularity of sports fan experiences and gaming and means that Rivals corporate partners, including organizations, teams and leagues, will be able to create and launch a variety of NFT campaigns, leverage its own branded physical and digital teams with the capability to offer loyalty incentives, including digital currency for gameplay to further drive engagement. The whole NFT concept for gaming is pretty interesting. And you think of games like Fortnite that are really big and people can create skins for that and sell them on, on Epic Games already. What if those were to become NFTs and then those could grow in value and then be resold? Uh, that's an interesting concept, but who knows if that game specifically would go that route, but just as an example. Now, something recently that happened that was really interesting is that you guys might have heard that Cardano and Chainlink announced a partnership, but before that partnership was announced, there was well buying of Chainlink in a really large amount as the whole crypto market crashed and was going down and all uh, weak hands are trading off their Chainlink and many other cryptocurrencies as well. Whales were coming in and they were buying up Chainlink and $1.45 billion in link bought by Chainlink Whales holding one to 10 million coins in a single week. And another interesting thing is that the price of Chainlink recently went up a pretty good amount as well when it was announced at the Cardano Summit. So somebody recently made a whole lot of money. One of the things we learned about at the Cardano Summit was that Cardano has a new stable coin called Jed, but it's spelled D-J-E-D, -E but it's pronounced Jed, like Jedi. Cardano's founder, Charles Hoskinson said, Jed stablecoin could be a game changer in the crypto space, appealing to an entirely new audience at a time when the industry is already experiencing astronomical growth. Now, a few things about Jed. Jed will be issued by Kadi. Kadi is a decentralized payment platform that organizations can use to build their own digital payment solutions. Kadi already acts as a payment platform for Cardano's Adipay. Now, having a stablecoin on the Cardano platform 
can help out with reducing the gas fees, the transaction fees. Now, Jed is a algorithmic stable coin. Algorithmic stable coins like Jed work a bit differently than traditional ones. Rather than backing the coin with external assets, there's an underlying algorithm to keep the Jed price consistent. Put simply, if the price increases, a smart contract automatically issues more coins, and if the price falls, it buys more to push it back up again. The system keeps a pool of base coins in reserve to maintain balance. Now, there are a lot of people speculating in Cadi right now. I'm, I'm currently not invested into it. Cadi does trade on Coinbase. It recently launched on Coinbase back in August. Currently, it's priced at 58 cents at the time I'm making this video, and that is up about 100% over this last week. It was actually up a little bit more than that when the news recently came out about them partnering with, uh, with Cardano. Its all-time high, which it recently reached during that announcement at the Cardano Summit, was 66 cents. And if we look at how many hands are being changed here, there's a lot of Cardi exchanging hands right now. Uh, Cardi's current market cap is $507.4 million, and the volume in the last 24 hours is $489.8 million. So a lot of volume in Cardi right now. So right now it's all up to the catalyst that we have and play with Cardano to see the price of it going up. Uh, we're still stuck in that slump right now, back in the $2 support area and we need to first break through the resistance of 215 so we can get back on track to get through the resistance of two dollars and 35 cents if we can get past that 235 then we're money hopefully we can keep training back up from there and then we can start the journey of possibly getting cardano back on the all-time highs that it was once trailing on just a matter of a couple weeks ago so hopefully that's the case but we'll have to wait and see how it all does play out. But anyways, I'd like to hear what everybody's thoughts of Cardano are right now. Do you guys think that we're going to still possibly get that price prediction of Cardano reaching to a price between $5 and $7 by December? I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Uh, some people do have some pretty wild predictions out there. And you know what? Those could also be true. We'll have to see how it all does play out. So anyways, with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video coming very soon.